Boxes. My name is Leighton Blocks, and today we'll be doing a GFX tutorial on how to edit. So, and well, more specifically, is how to add highlights, how to add text, and all other cool stuff. This is going to be done on Paint.net, and to get Paint.net, just type, just type Paint.net, and then there should be a link to Paint.net free software for digital photo editing, and then you click here to download. It's only for Windows, by the way, so yeah. You can also use Photoshop. So, how to make it better? So, as you can see, there's a checkerboard background, and there's no background. So, just you know, so you go to Layers, Imports from File. Let's let's select this one, and then hold Shift, hold Shift, and then drag it so the aspect ratio of the image stays the same, and then drag it down here so it goes behind. And there you go. Press enter and you have you now have a background. And to make it better you could press effects, press blur and Gaussian blur. This makes it better. Or you could or more it'll be better if you did on focus. Yeah, the on focus looks way better. There, there's supposed to be fire here, but I don't have fire, so let's make fire. Let's go to layer and then just name it fire. And let's select, so let's color pick this color to make it brighter. And now I go to paintbrush, increase the brush width, and then turn down the hardness. You turn down the color a bit, just do this. Oh, wait, <laughs> wrong, um, wrong layer. There you go. Now it's the correct layer. Make it a bit more orangey here. And now it kind of looks ugly, so what you can do is just go to effects, motion blur, change the direction upwards, and change the distance. And there you go. You got fire. And to make it better, you could you can go to adjustments, hue saturation, increase saturation. Maybe change the color a bit so it's me. Yeah, that looks better. See, now we got fire. Um, maybe make it way brighter, maybe. And use um, motion blur again. There you go, way better. And then we could have smoke. So just turn that down. Maybe turn down transparency or opacity, maybe. Just do this. And then we could do motion blur, we could do Gaussian blur. Depends on you. There you go. Just add something to it, just tiny details. Now we could make so the edges like over here, maybe here, over here, would be much brighter, much nicer. So create a new layer, settings, properties, then go to overlay. Let's just name it overlay fire maybe. And I'll select the color of and go to background or whatever image you have, and then select the brightest color. Maybe this one. We'll fire this one. Brightest color of the fire. Go to overlay fire. Paintbrush. Let's decrease the width a bit. Make sure hardness is zero. And I'd recommend having opacity to max. And just go over the lines here. And just go over where the brightest parts of the image already is. And just play around with it, just do whatever you want. And there you go. Now, it looks kind of weird, so what you do is go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. Decrease how much you want, and let's see the difference. Wow, what a difference! Maybe a bit too much here, maybe a bit too much. You never know, just to erase it. Now, if you have like lights somewhere else, like from the room, there are like other lights, so you could just create a new layer, overlay, I don't know, another overlay, you can make it white. Have it over here, maybe. There you go. And just use blur again, Gaussian blur, and just adds more to the 
JFX. And if you see like highlights outside, just use a rubber. I'll just maybe to the max. There you go. There you go. Uh, you could. Hmm, what else could we add? And you could add another layer. I don't know. Sky overlay maybe. And as you can see, maybe let's just select a color from the background here. Maybe this color. Oh, wrong tool. It looks a bit dark, so but let's just let's just experiment. Maybe just make it brighter color, maybe. There you go. Okay, now we could um, add um, the vignette, whatever you call it. I don't even know how you call it, but oh, let's change the density radius. And the one thing I used for my um, like the finished product of the GFX is what was it? Photo and soft and portrait. Like increase the light a bit and the warmth, and just makes it nicer. Look at the difference it makes. It makes it darker. It just I don't know. It just makes it nicer, you know. And if you want to add text, then just new layer and then name it text. Let's have um, wow cake. Uh, let's change it to monster app. That's like my favorite um favorite font. Wow cake 300. Wow cake and change it to glow. And to make it better, you could add another layer under the text wow cake base the same position and blur it or maybe on focus it has like a glowy outline uh, of the text this makes it more pop out um, or we could even make it way better so layers let me delete that to make it way better import from file sparkles yeah, that sparkles. She looks a bit ridiculous, but we could go to adjustments, hue saturation, and let's make it. And we could use motion blur. Just makes it looks. So, just makes it look way better. Could make it overlay too, or glow, or overlay. Overlay makes it so much better. And you could add maybe so for example maybe you would add ash, maybe snow, maybe rain, confetti. Which makes it GFX just look more nicer, you know. And I think that's the tutorial. What if you do is up to your imagination. So thanks for watching. If you want more tutorials, comment down below what you want me to do. And see you later, blocks. Yeah.